This week we rev our engines as I check out the new Piston Cup Junior Ride Alongs at the Richard Petty Driving Experience. And then we meet the world's most fearsome fighting team when we visit the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at Nick Hotel. Plus the latest theme park news, a new giveaway, and more. It's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney, NASCAR, and movie memorabilia. Visit their showroom right here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to undercovertourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. Well, we are right now in the very middle of this huge Diagon Alley Media Week at Universal. Yes. And I'm so excited to tell everyone about everything in there. But I'm going to let you know a little trade secret. We usually film on Wednesdays, but because of this little media event, we're actually filming Monday mm -hmm. this week. So we're not going to be able to talk about it this episode, but next week we're going to have a full-fledged episode full of Diagon Alley goodness. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm excited for it. Yes, we will. What about, what, what's going on with you? Oh, with me, uh, I had a really good Father's Day yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yep, I got to see my family, I ate dinner with them, so that was really nice. Um, sorry, it's hard for me to take you seriously with Yoda on your oh, you saw, you saw this? Yeah, we went to a st <laughs> last weekend of Star Wars Weekends was, was this past weekend, oh. and they, they started selling these cool little magnet things where you can put the magnet under your shirt and then they will stay on you. They also have one for Pascal from, uh, from Tangled. That's adorable. And I know they're going to have uh, more out in the future, but yeah, these are really cool. It's like a little parrot just following <laughs> you around, a little, little Yoda. Exactly. Yeah, Beautiful. you're good side, bad Yoda. side. You need like a Sith over here, so you just like Oh, good like, and a, evil. like a good and bad angel kind of. Okay, I got That would you. be good. I got you. I got you. I noticed some things you, you brought oh, here. You, oh, yeah. You're, you, you're a bit, you like doing your little home craft. Yeah, kind I of kind thing. of found a new hobby, I think. I don't know. Well, we'll Anyways, show, show the viewers. Sure. Well, I started making bows for Ooh, why not? Mm -hmm. uh, these are a couple of my favorites. I made this is Darth Vader. Mm. Yes. So we get a Sith? Sith, yes. Uh, here we go. Can you tell? Snow White. Snow White. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Buzz Light, you're too infinity and beyond. <laughs> and then I brought one more. Hmm. This is the monorail. Oh, oh, Just I see it now. <laughs> okay, with the wind. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the windows and whatever. I should have wrote four, five, four, whatever. I might, blah, ha blah, blah. I might have to hire you to make one for Spencer when she's born. Well, definitely, I'll do that. All right. But well, we got a lot of stuff happening that happened this past week, so let's get to it with the news in the queue. Yeah. <laughs> some sad news for fans of the American Idol experience at Hollywood Studios. Disney has announced the attraction will be shutting down in early 2015. Now Disney along with Fremantle Media and 19 Entertainment, the producers of American Idol, released a joint statement this week thanking everyone and announcing the closure officially. Mm -hmm. Idol cast members were told the show would be limiting the number of daily shows starting in mid-July then closing completely the first week of January. The show, which opened in 2009, allowed park guests to try out to perform for other guests and compete for the golden ticket, which, if won, allowed them to skip the line at an American Idol TV show audition. I, you know, I mean, it's been around for five years now. Mm -hmm. it's, I, you know, I think it's, it's time to, to, it's to time. move on. I enjoyed the show personally. I, I've, I've actually performed in it three times awesome. over the past five Did years. Did you ever win the golden ticket? Mm, of course not. <laughs> I'm not that good. They, I think they just felt bad for me because I always kept on showing you like, oh, let's let the him have fun. Just let him go on. Already. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I saw it, but I never actually auditioned myself because I was a cast member, so you weren't allowed if you were a cast member. Right. And then I just, I just never did, but... Yep. Maybe I can get in there before it closes. You and I, we need to go make a day of it. Yes. Audition 
and everyone could come out. And if we get all of our fans out there to come and vote for us, maybe one of us could make it. If we make it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Now, over at Universal's Wizarding World, new symbols have appeared in Hogsmeade, which confirms rumors we've been hearing for a while about a new interactive experience. Special markers featuring spell names and wand motions have appeared on the ground in front of different windows throughout Hogsmeade. Now, after purchasing new special wands, guests will be able to stand on the markers and make specified motions <laughs> to trigger some sort of interaction at the windows. The interactive windows will also be in Diagon Alley. Mm -hmm. Now we don't know the price point for the new wands just yet, but we're hearing they'll be somewhere in the range of $40 to $60 each. I'm sure we'll find out right now this week. Just stay tuned on Twitter. We'll post info as it comes along. That sounds very exciting. Uh, more interactive things that, you know, we see that at Disney a lot now, and that's cool that Universal's starting to get that It kind of reminds me, the, the markers kind of remind me of Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom at, at Disney, but instead too. of just standing there and holding up a card, you're actually doing stuff with and, motion yeah mm -hmm. and i noticed I, I saw what i was getting photos of some of the stuff for our blog post uh there's cameras so it's it was kind of i'm thinking it's kind of like a connect type thing like xbox mm. connect where they can track your motion um and then if you want to say the spell i don't know if saying the spell is required or not i think it's just the motion but they've got on the ground how you do the motion like there's one that's like a like uh, that. Like how to swoop your arm. Exactly. Uh. Like where to start and where to end. That's really clever. My, my wand training at Universal back in January is going to come in handy. <laughs> for I sure. Like that. <laughs> Finally this week, Bush Gardens will be celebrating pass holders with a special after hours event called Sidewalk Safari Nights. The event takes place this Friday and Saturday, June 20th and 21st. Bush Gardens pass holders and fun card members will have access to the park between 7.30 and 11 p.m. at night. As well as getting to enjoy all of the park's attractions, Members will get a special look inside the ice exploration and burn the floor shows, as well as a chance to meet the stars of the wildlife docks, among other activities each night. Now to attend, all you have to do is present your active fun card or pass at the Nairobi gate on event nights. Love this idea. Mm -hmm. Different. I, I like it. I, 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 you know, celebrating pass holders. I don't see why other parks don't do that. I know. They deserve it. I mean, yeah, we're, you know, I've passed all the parks, so, you know, we're some of the bigger you know, money makers for the mm -hmm, parks because yeah. we're always there spending on mm -hmm. merchandise and food. So yeah, it's a nice little celebration for us. Enjoy it on our own and, and get special little shows. Special I love treatments. This. I mean, Exploration is my favorite show there. So getting to be able to see some, a little bit extra into that is, is cool right? too. Maybe get to go behind the scene yeah, and, and backstage maybe even. How cool would that be? Mm -hmm. I want to maybe skate across the floor. <laughs> you think they'll let me do that? Uh, you could try. All right. <laughs> Watch next week when I have braces from chipping my teeth. <laughs> Hi everybody. This week let's go to Disney's Hollywood Studios. At the great movie ride on the right side of the loading dock mural in the second to last house on the right, a tiny black classic Mickey peeks out of the bottom center of a top floor window. It's on the side of the house and nearest the corner. Take a look at this one. You may have to squint, but it's a great hidden Mickey. Happy hunting. Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their showroom located minutes from Orlando International Airport or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. As an expectant father, I'm looking to give my new baby every advantage. I mean, you've got to look ahead, and today I've made some important decisions. Yeah, like what kind of diapers to use or what preschool to apply for? Nope, I picked her career. Spencer's going to be a race car driver. Oh my. And assuming it's still around when she's old enough, we're going to send her to the new Piston Cup Junior Ride Along at the Richard Petty Driving Experience. I just checked it out recently and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Does Sydney know about this? Uh, not yet, but I'm sure she'll be on board after she sees this. Mm -hmm. Love you, Sydney. Ah! We are here at the Richard Petty Driving Experience at the Walt Disney World Speedway where they have revealed two brand new Cars characters that are part of the Junior Ride Along Experience. Now, the age range for this experience is 6 to 13, and though I may be young at heart, unfortunately I am not young in body, so I will not be doing this, but I've got my friend Nick here who is going to fill in for me at this experience. You ready to go? Yeah, this is going to be a great experience. I mean, I'm pumped and I like racing and I like cars, so. Well, there goes one right now. Let's get you suited up, all right?
So we're here with Jay Ward, the guardian of the Cars franchise from Pixar. How are you doing today, Jay? Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Now, these cars behind us, these are very unique. What's the story? How did the Richard Petty driver experience come and get characters from the Cars films? So this is really great. Last year, Chip Foose and I came out for Car Masters Weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we came out to Richard Petty driving experience to try out the exotic driving class, had a great time. And we were just looking at these, uh, these race cars they had, these NASCAR style cars, and I thought, these are the background racers from the movie Cars. And these guys were thinking the same thing. They thought, wouldn't it be so cool we have two vehicles that are specifically designed for young kids to ride in between 6 and 13. Imagine if they look like characters from the movie. And I think they were probably thinking, oh, they could be two McQueens out there. And I said, no, there's only one Lightning McQueen. I said, but if you think about it, these already look like the background racers from the beginning of the movie. Let's make them background racers in the film. So I went back to Pixar, worked with my team that worked with me on the graphics for cars, and we custom made these two vehicles special for Richard Petty driving experience. Eyes, the mouth, everything had the vehicles wrapped. And they look, they look great. Look, they came straight out of cars. I, I love these. And what, what made you decide that these two specific characters? And who are these characters? It's a good question. So you have uh, Sage Vanderspin and Axel Aiken. Mm -hmm. And the reason we chose these were a couple reasons. One is, if you look at all the background racers, some of them had very dark paint jobs, black or, or super dark colors. And we thought, we don't want real dark colors, A, Florida sun, uh -huh. but B, also menacing. We want the characters to look open and friendly. And kids sometimes can get intimidated. I'm sure you've seen in the parks where kids kind of get scared of, like, Captain Hook. So we thought, we really want to make sure these cars look approachable to children, so bright colors. So we found two cars with bright colors, and then sponsorship was another one. Strangely enough, we didn't want to have like adult drip pan sponsorship <laughs> for the kids ride right along, right? Right, right? We want to have some fun sponsors, so we're like, all right, cool, nitrate is like, it's kind of like a Gatorade type of drink. Mm -hmm. And then gaskets, kids love snacks and treats and sandwich stuff, so I'm like, these are great. They got the right paint job, the right sponsor, perfect. And there's a lot of fun little faux sponsors on the ground. Every single graphic we had in the film, we put all those graphics on the car. The only things we changed was we changed proportions so they'd fit the cars. We put a big Cars logo in the back window and a Cars logo on the side, but that's it. And they look fantastic. I really, like I said, they look like they came straight out of the film. Are these limited or are they going to be here for a while? As far as I know, they're going to run these cars for a long time. And I think if it does well, we can look at some other opportunities. I think it'd be fun to do more than these. I mean, we really had a blast. I, I would love to see like a, a Piston Cup happen here with multiple cars. Exactly. Can you imagine with a big cup and a winner's stand, get chick kicks out there trying to bump you off the track? <laughs> So these two Cars characters are now officially part of the Junior Ride Along experience. It's $59 per child and it's on a first come, first serve basis. Reservations, they are not required for this. So come on out to the Walt Disney World Speedway every day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and see if your kid can win the Piston Cup. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. 
Nickelodeon has always been one of the biggest names in children's entertainment as long as it's been around. Now, not only have they created some of the most well-known cartoon characters of all time, but they've also introduced a whole new generation to some old favorites. Among those old favorites are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Exactly. And a part of this reintroduction is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Summer of Shell at the Nickelodeon mm -hmm. Hotel. We sent Patrick and our newest reporter, Jesse, to Retro Weekend to meet the original cartoon voice cast. Take it away, guys. Hey, guys, I'm Patrick, and with me is... Jesse. And we are here at the Nickelodeon Suites Resorts for the Summer of Shell Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle event. And this weekend is Retro Weekend, where we have some of the original voice actors of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Are you excited? I'm so excited, but you're a little underdressed for this. Um, a ninja is always oh, ready. Oh, very nice. But before we kick off this event, what are we going to do? We're going to go to breakfast at the Bikini Bottom Breakfast. I think we have some undersea friends to see. Let's I'm go. So excited. I'm here with Jesse, part of the Nickelodeon Suites Resorts. Now we're here at the Turtle Retro Weekend, yes. part of the Summer of Shell throughout all the summer. What can we expect? Yes, well the Summer of Shell is all about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as you know. So right now we're here for our Retro Weekend. We've got the original voice cast of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on property for question and answer sessions, pictures and autographs. Also new for the summer, we have our brand new Turtle Power Show. It's a high energy show out on the pool deck. We've got our first ever appearance by April O'Neil in that show. She teams up with the Ninja Turtles and they fight the Foot Clan right here on our Lagoon Pool stage. Super exciting. Yeah. Now, when does this all end so people know when to book by? We'll be wrapping up the Summer in Sh of Shell in August, but you guys want to make sure that you're here on August 9th because we're going to be trying to break the Guinness World Record for most people dressed like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle right here on our Lagoon Pool deck. So. We want as many people as we can get to be here in their Ninja Turtle swag. Oh yeah, so August 9th, dress up like a turtle. We'll be here breaking records. Yes. The I don't know if you guys are. knew about this. We might have to take care of business later, definitely. Yes. Yeah, you guys ready for some action? Yes. How's the I'm ready crime right too. now in the streets? Are we safe? Uh, we're doing all right. I think the turtles we're have been pretty busy. We're in the hotel, we're fine. But yes, everything is safe right here. Perfect, we were worried about it. Are you having fun? Are you excited for this summer? We're pumped for this summer. It's gonna Woo! be an awesome yeah. summer. Very special with these no guys. Crime. All right, I think we All should right, get a picture. picture. Let's do just a brief introduction so that everyone at home knows who you are. Hi, I'm Barry Gordon. I'm Donatello. Very nice. I'm Townsend Coleman. Michelangelo. Rob Paulson. Raphael. Cam Clark. Leonardo. Oh, very nice. All right, so I'm a big fan and I have to ask, can I hear your favorite line as your favorite turtle friend? Oh, oh, as one of the others, you mean? <laughs> well, I hope Leonardo's okay. your favorite. Does anyone remember uh, any of my lines? Um, they were all so long. All so long? <laughs> Can you my lines He's the were, genius. Because I was the genius. The genius. So, yeah, so I just kept it was always saying, about fix, fixing some Fixing yes. something. Yeah. Piece of gear. Hey, the turtle van is broken again, guys. <laughs> Love it. Cowabunga, do that. You are most bodacious. Shredder, get back here and taste cold turtle steel. April, this is Leonardo. Shredder and Krang are on their way. We've got to think of something fast. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Woo! We've got to do something. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What a legacy you guys have brought to everybody. I know oh, I'm you. a big fan. I appreciate everything you guys done coming out here, being with everybody. Our pleasure. It's amazing, yeah. truly amazing. So the turtles have done a lot of evolving over the years and yeah. their images and their voices, everything that's happened. 
How do we feel? Yeah, a tooth? A tooth? How do we feel about the new Michael Bay version of the Ninja Turtles? Are we in it? <laughs> I don't I don't know. That's the answer. Tell me That's how we answer. feel. No, I, you know, I, 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 all of us have been in the entertainment business for a long time. It's a very difficult thing to make a movie, any movie. It's a hard thing. So uh, I, I, you know, there's a lot of sort of intense uh, of feelings about Ninja Turtles. Um, but I can't make a judgment. I mean, I, I can tell you this much. Like it or not, the trailer, the first trailer that came out within 10 days got 35 million views. It was views. huge. It was huge. So I, you know, I can't make a judgment on whether it's going to be great or not, yeah. but it's a big deal. Turtles is a major deal. Um, and to be a part of it in, in any matter, shape, or form is a pretty cool thing. It's always fascinating to me to, to see the, the, the people who are so like yeah. almost militant about it. They either love it or they hate it. Yeah. And and that goes for almost any iteration of yep. the Turtles since 25 years That's ago. That's true. You know, so uh, I, yeah, there were, per personally, I think that the trailer makes it look very cool. That, yeah. That's to me. But I know that there's a lot of, pretty intense. A lot of controversy yeah. about the backstory yeah. of this yeah. one. So. Yeah. And I met, I've met people that didn't like our cartoon yeah. because they liked the, the comic book version. The darkness right, right. of the they, comic they book. They liked yeah. that it was dark, yeah. you know. So people, you know, Turtles reaches different people in different ways. And it seems to me, I'm really looking forward to it mm -hmm. because, you know, I mean, I think, I, I mean, I'd heard rumors that, you know, they were going to turn them into aliens and that bothered me. But once they got rid of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, because we've got to be, you know, we've got to be what... It's got to be the ooze. It's got to be yeah. the same backstory. Yeah. But yeah. it also shows the power of the fandom. Um, right. Yes. Uh, because that script was pushed back a year as a result of backlash from the fans. That's pretty... You guys have an enormous amount of power. That's right. And interestingly, one of the reasons that the new animated show is doing so well is because the people who are making it are your age. The people who are making it are, you know, folks who grew fans. up watching the original exactly. one. And yeah. so they have such deep respect for the characters for the ethos for the mythology of the of the turtles and really respect the fan base because they're us and and that's a very unique circumstance to have the new franchise or have the franchise in the hands of people who grew up watching it it's pretty cool Unless you're staying on property at a resort and exclusively attending their attractions, you'll probably need a rental car when you come to Orlando. When it comes time to return your car, you could be suddenly hit with as much as $100 in extra costs because of the fuel. Most typically, the rental company gives you a car full of gas and you need to return it full of gas. This can put you at the mercy of many overpriced gas stations near the airport. Alternatively, some companies may allow you to prepay for fuel ahead of time. You should also keep your eyes out for reasonably priced gas stations near the airport on your way out. Using these methods may save you from last minute surprises. Do your research and ask about your rental company's rates ahead of time to pick the best option for yourself and maximize your savings. Don't pay full price for your theme park tickets. Undercover Tourist gets tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Our Disney tickets are RFID and FastPass Plus enabled and can be linked directly to My Disney Experience. Add a car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park and other planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com to buy your tickets today. So last week's giveaway, we asked viewers to go on Twitter with hashtag attractions giveaway and tell us what their favorite past segment of the show is. Mm -hmm. Now we have some great examples of past segments that people chose. We have, you know, IAPA from last year, which was one of my favorite segments. Parasailing at the Contemporary, that's going back a while. D23 Expo, the 24 hour event, so and so forth. A lot of great answers. Cool. Well, last week's winner is actually at More Than Coupon Queen on Twitter, who said, our fave segment was the Sky Coaster. My daughter said she loved watching Elisa scream her head off. <laughs> glad, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> well, for this week's giveaway, we've got a couple of cute little things. One of the bows that you showcased earlier, your Buzz Lightyear bow that you made. Yes. We're gonna give away. And then also from the Precious Moments collection, 
It's uh, I'm gonna get it. It's porcelain or porcelain. Thanks, I think yeah. So. yeah. Alice holding a little white rabbit. So adorable. That's adorable. We'll make sure to put plenty of bubble wrap in there so it arrives in one piece because I think these are very very precious. delicate. Exactly. It, as well, very precious. <laughs> now we're gonna do the uh, sounds like game again. We haven't done it in a little while. So listening ears on everyone. Where do you think this sound comes from? Well, to enter this week's giveaway, send an email to info at attractionsmagazine.com and let us know where you think that sound comes from. You must include your full name and address, and if you're under 18, please get your parents' permission. Only one entry per person, please, and we need your email by the end of next Tuesday, June 24th, 2014. One winner will randomly be chosen from among all correct responders. Good luck. And I think that brings us to our weekend calendar review. Miss Lisa, if you would like to get things started. I thank you. First up on Friday and Saturday, you can check out Bush Garden Sidewalk Safari Nights that we talked about earlier. Then on Saturday night, you can see Montego Glover as the special guest narrator of Harambe Nights at the Animal Kingdom. But if you don't have tickets to Harambe Nights, head on over to Downtown Disney Saturday from 5 to 10 for a food truck event. Yum, yum. yum. All weekend, you can catch Good Vibrations, a tribute to the Beach Boys, performing at the Sounds Like Summer Concert Series at Epcot. And be sure to stay tuned to our Twitter, Facebook, and website as we report live from Diagon Alley. You never know, the new land may be completely open to everyone by the time our next show airs. Let's go right now. Is it open now? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, we're filming on Monday. It's not open yet. Oh. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park, movie, and NASCAR items. Visit the showroom here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We're also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter right here. Also, don't forget attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. And of course, the magazine itself. Take a look at this. Our new summer issue is now available. You can order your copy through our website, in our app, or on the nook. Lots of great stuff inside, so awesome. don't want to miss this one. Mm -mm. Well, Banks, that's it for this week's episode of the show. Lots mm -hmm. of huge things happening over at Universal this week. Oh, just like we talked about at the beginning of the episode, Diagon Alley. We're at the media event right now. You know, stay tuned to our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We're going to have lots of photos, videos from inside the land. Hopefully the stars will be, we'll get some stuff with the stars and all the shops and the food. We're going to have a supersized segment about it on next week's episode of the show, so you don't want to miss that. I can't wait. What are we going to do when it's over? We have nothing else to stop. I know. This is the biggest, <laughs> this is the last big opening in Orlando. We, we, sure, what? Well, what Falcon's we? Fury soon? True, true. Yeah, we do have that. But, I mean, this, this is a big one. This is, this is the biggest one. This is the one we've been looking forward to. So, <sighs> can't wait to get in there. It's going to be amazing. Now, until next week, be sure to visit your local attractions, try something new, which we are, are going to this week, okay. and stay safe. But most of all, have fun. fun! Try out my spells. Oh, oh whoops! <laughs>to the Richard Petty driving experience first Kerm Kerm first Kerm first served and kicking off this weekend is retro weekend where we have I said retro weekend for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell some shell of summer so let's get to it with the news in the queue yeah, absolutely all right well we're starting off with some sad we're news. starting off by cutting <laughs> <laughs> you should also keep your eyes out for reasonably prices gas station so that's it for this week's episode of the show. Like we talked about at the beginning of the show, lots of has, lots of have happened. Lots of has a three, lots of three, happening. Three, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for this week's episode of the show. And like, you know, we're just gonna cut. <laughs>